about this. This is the important part. How I ended the calamity, and what you must do as well. Right after we finally reached the bottom of the mountain, that's when it happened. And by it, I mean... I... I... <sighs> Welcome one and all to our special Halloween edition of Takisoba with the review of the horror anime known as Another. I'm your residential anime casual Nate, as always, joined with the anime buff Malesh. Salutations, everyone. Another is the first spooky anime I've ever seen, mainly due to me being a you scaredy cat, but Another does away with the typical things you see in horror shows like jump scares and instead offers an interesting, slow, thought-provoking outlook on the human mind. Now let us begin. Another aired in the winter season of 2012 with 12 spine-tingling episodes. The spookiness comes from a curse that is inflicting Yomiyama Junior High. The curse spawned in 1972, where a popular student named Misaki, who was a student of class 3, ends up mysteriously dying, which causes the entire school in a state of shock. Later in class 3, after Misaki's death, a student points to Misaki's absent desk and claims that he's somehow still there. From that point on, the entire rest of class 3 pretends that Misaki is still with them, even all the way up to the graduation ceremony where Misaki's death is present. The following year, a new group of kids enter class 3, where they first experienced the curse, in which an extra student was in the class even though the teachers accounted for the correct amount of desks. This causes a student in class 3 to die each month until the end of the school year. Another focuses on the class 3 of 1998 where they try to deal with the curse. Overall, I found the plot to be very interesting with was excited to see what new info we get with each episode. Personally, this is also the first true horror anime I've seen, as the closest I've come to this genre is a non-gore mystery, like Erased, and the sci-fi psychological thriller, Steins Gate. Both had their fair share of startling moments and some blood here and there, but neither anime compared to another in terms of raw disgust and shock value. However, I was 0% intrigued with the story as I just do not like the genre on a fundamental level, and I felt no fright, but I felt disturbed at some points. When looking at the story as a whole, I was just plain bored with regression and I was unmoved by any plot elements and cliffhangers. The main character is Koji Sakagibara, the new transfer student who enters the creepy class 3. Being a transfer student, Koji does not know about the curse, and instead he'll break a lot of the secret rules that class establishes in order to protect themselves. Koichi represents ignorance, and all he's trying to do is be a normal dude that is trying to figure out what's wrong with his class. This has him developing interesting relationships with its classmates, most notably Mei Masaki. Mei is oddly ignored by her classmates at first, which leads Koichi to question whether or not she's real. Mei is an enigmatic character who is soft-spoken, but she knows a lot about the mystery of class 3. Besides those two, there's some other important side characters in the class that lead to helping and solving the mystery of class 3. The characters in this anime were pretty alright to me as well. No one who dies gets a lot of major development that makes you feel upset, but that's not really a negative. Koichi and his main group of friends remain unscathed throughout the episodes and just witness a ton of deaths from classmates, friends and family of classmates, and even a teacher who commits suicide. The bulk of the development is based on how characters react to the knowledge they gain and how they sit together and seek help from everyone else in the town, as long as those people don't die. P.A. Works anime is dark and macabre show. P.A. Works is one of my favorite animation studios. I will always look at their art styles, which you can see on other shows like Shirabako and Eccentric Family. Another has a distinct P.A. Works look to it, which makes it one of the best looking shows that came out in 2012. I also want to give kudos to the director, as there are a plethora of shots that impressed me by how they were framed. I saw some unique perspectives as he would frame the characters talking, which I've never seen before, and really added to the suspense and feel of the show. There are some scenes at the end of another that were really impressive with 2012 and still are impressive today. Nothing particularly stood out to me in this anime, and I haven't seen any other PA Works anime except for Eccentric Family, which looked quite different. However, I agree that the cinematography was on point, and the art style and especially color usage were very fitting and enhanced the eeriness presented in the show. In terms of animation, many of the gruesome death sequences are animated quite well and broke my boredom by making me feel really disgusted. I give PA Works points for that. Now let's move on to the soundtrack and voice acting. I have to give credit to the sound designer for another, Yoshikazu Iwanami, who brilliantly orchestrated this great soundtrack. One of my favorite things he did was omit the background music 
and enhance the sound effects the characters would make eating while in the cafeteria. This leads to an unsettling experience, and it was weird how deadly silent it was just a side of noises. As for the soundtrack, I found it to be quite good at creating suspense, as you would expect for a horror show. The opening itself was hauntingly beautiful, and the ending was no slouch either. The soundtrack was alright, but it wasn't my style, just like how the horror genre itself just isn't my style. I can recognize that the music was fitting for the theme, but I was unfazed, and I didn't like the opening or ending themes just due to taste. As for the voice acting, I watched the English dub, which was good and just about average. I heard maybe one or two notable actors, and the performances were pretty much neutral, but not bad, so any anime casual, like myself, would enjoy this dub. Another was a really enjoyable experience for me. There are tons of stuff I found really cool about it, like its sound design and composition. I also found this story to conclude quite well, even exceeding my expectations for the big reveal, the mystery of the show. However, there were things that really did hamper the enjoyment of another for me, mainly the odd logic some of the characters had, and the slow pacing in the beginning of the show. Altogether, I know that was a really enjoyable experience for me that had a lot of unique things that you just don't see in a lot of anime today, and that's why I would recommend to anyone that's looking for something new to watch in anime. As for myself, I must say that watching another was just not an enjoyable experience, but I kind of expected that, as I already knew, I didn't like the horror genre in other mediums. I stepped out of my comfort zone for this one, and it didn't work out, but even with my taste aside, I did feel that the pacing of the show was a little clunky, and some of the plot developments a little contrived, but as a whole, I can see why this show might be popular, and it's certainly a unique experience that many anime casuals might be looking to get into if you like horror and macabre themes. You can watch the subtitle version of Another for free on Crunchyroll and Yahoo View, but I couldn't find the dub version anywhere for streaming, so if you want to watch that, you might have to sail the high seas. As always, if you've already watched the anime Another, click the first link in the description for a post review discussion, which includes some light spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of another. Please click like or give a comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a unique review as we're reviewing movies instead of anime TV. We will be reviewing the four-part film adaptation of Persona 3, so stay tuned. Ciao. Chicago.